All right, beautiful people. Now we're gonna to try to do something that I haven't tried before. So please bear with me. I'm gonna share my screen. And we're gonna go over the questions that you just tried to answer, okay? Now it says, write the names of the three chemicals below the chemical formula, for example. Write water below 2H2O. So let me see if I can do that. Water. Water. Okay. Water goes there. And let's go with this is oxygen, right? And and all the way over here, this is hydrogen peroxide, right? Okay, look at that. Now, so we did that. Now it says identify the reactants, the catalyst and products above the chemical formula, okay? So, I'm not sure I can do that. I'm going to try. So the H2O2, because it's to the left of the arrow, they are the reactants. Let me see if this, okay, this is an experiment. Bear with me. This is the reactants. This is the catalyst, the sodium iodide catalyst. And then we have the products. The products, hey, let's give this a capital because the catalyst is super important, right? So hydrogen peroxide is the reactant. The catalyst is the sodium iodide. The products are the water, the 2H2O, and the oxygen, the O2, all right? I think that works. Now, based on your answers to one and two, what is a catalyst? What is it used for and how is it part of a chemical reaction? Okay. Well, hopefully you understood when you saw like those colors go up in the air and, and the reaction get really kind of fast and volatile. Catalysts simply, Okay, but it's better. Catalyst, speed, oh, this is my guess. Speed up a reaction. That's what a catalyst does. It just speeds or helps a reaction okay so that is pretty much that answers the question for this part of the lesson i will be back in a moment i hope that makes sense